Okay, thanks for joining me today. Um, at the end of these projects, I like to let these planes sit and dry for, for quite a while. This one has had a light coat of uh, Gamba Satin. That's what I use for these. You gotta give it a good shake. And varnishing seems to heighten all the, all the activity in the painting. So you don't need much. Lid off. I put mine in a little bowl, as you can see. I pour just a tiny bit in there. You see that? That should do us, actually. And I have a hog hair brush. Let's make sure it's all clean. And make sure the painting is dust free. And then you just get it on there, baby. Here we go. Nice. Just wet your brush. Take off all the excess to kick off with. All right, then I like to start in the corner, like so. Just the tiniest dips. My glass bowl likes to travel. You can see, I don't know if you can see in that picture, how it's just thickening the sky, it's good. Cross, 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 cross. Yep, 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 yep. Cross, 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 cross. And all the way along. I'm gonna do it pretty quick, really, because um, you can see the bit of the blues coming off. That's a bit strange. There's the sky virtually done. So, do it down, this is the way I do it, don't know if it's the proper way or not, and then I do this, and that's kind of like half the painting done already, with that tiny amount of, of uh, varnish, gamba satin, it's good stuff, and if you don't like it too bright, uh, too shiny I mean, reflective. It's the perfect thing. So we're down on the other half now. And crisscross across the body. <laughs> this is a small painting so it doesn't take long. But um, well worth it once you oops once you Get it on. Get it on, baby. That's what I say. You can see, you gotta be quick. And a bit more dipping. If there's any hairs on it, just come up with the brush. Mm, gotta get that signature on. There's a bloody hair there. Look at that. Anyway, that won't be there in a second. That's <laughs> uh... okay. It's always good to do it under a light so you can see the layer. So you, can see you don't get too fat in areas. Look at this, it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Get rid of that hair. It's gone. Want a bit of paper there? Now, that's 
it. Always double check your top areas. Just make sure you've got top and sides that you actually do cover that bit. Let's see, I left a bit off here. And it's a bit dry there. That's the benefit of having that light just above it. So, there we go. That is varnished.